And welcome back to the Whiskey Couch here in sunny South Africa with me, Gustav Muller, as your host. This is Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 127. And today's whiskey is the Tomdu 10, the second one in this short mini-series that I'm doing on exclusively sherry cask matured whiskies. So the first one was the Macallan 12-year-old Double Wood. And today the Tom de 10 and then the last one will be the Ben Riak 12 year old Sherry Wood. But today the Tom de 10 matured exclusively in Sherry casks. This of course for me the whiskey bottle out of all of the bottles that can win the prize for creativity. It's just a beautiful, beautifully designed bottle right there. From the Tomdu Distillery. The Tomdu Distillery founded in 1897 and it's situated in Speyside on the bank of the Spey River in the Highland of Scotland. And there are two pictures of the of the Tomdu Distillery on the banks of the Spey River, owned by the by Ian MacLeod. Distillers 10 year old, you can see the label there with a bit of detail. And this beautiful whiskey already received several gold and double gold awards internationally. It says here matured in sherry casks, matured in sherry casks, bottled. Oh, and natural color. Speyside whiskey bottled at 43% alcohol by volume. Bit of detail there on the back of the gift tube. And it says here, in 1897, that is when it was founded. Tom de Distillery was born of its founder's can-do spirit. And 200 years of Scottish industry. Today, Tom de 10 old embodies the same intrepid approach. Matured exclusively in sherry oak casks, we ensure every drop is as magnificent now as it was then. Tom do 10 year old. I've already poured my dram a little bit before I started the video. One minute for every year that the whiskey is old, that is that how long you need to let it just stand after you poured it. A beautiful dark color between a russet and a tawny color. If I use my color chart, whereabouts would this be? Yeah, almost there at the tawny, almost somewhere there. This beautiful color. Color, of course, when a whiskey is distilled, it is crystal clear as water, and then it receives 90% of its color from the wood which in which within which it is matured. 90% of the color. So this color comes from the sherry casks after 10 years. Soft vanilla and honey. It's interesting that the first thing that I pick up is vanilla and honey. I would have expected the sherry. Something that reminds me of Maltesers. Chocolate covered malt balls. A bit of alcohol and a little bit of an earthiness. Now the sherry is appearing. Dried fruit and sugared almonds. And a bit of fresh oak wood on the nose, on the palate. Mm. The alcohol feel like it's more than 43%. So a bit of an alcohol kick on the palate. There's a fruitiness. Some citrus and a little bit of caramelized apple. 
cinnamon spices emerging, brown sugar appearing on the palate, a little bit of honey. Toffee, it's got quite a warm feeling. And the sherry and the pepper notes busy with this balancing act. Who's gonna win the balance? The sherry, sweet sherry and the pepper. It's got quite a long warm finish. Fruity with the sherry and the honey. A bit of a tart note in the finish. Wood spice, again the almonds and quite dry in the end. Let's see what a few drops of water. I'm going to put it close to the camera and see the effect of the water as it arrives in the in the whiskey, that slight cloudiness. A bit of water there. So after a few drops of water, Sherry is a bit stronger and the caramelized fruits a bit stronger. A little more mellow. The pepper notes a little bit subsided and the sweet notes a little bit stronger after a few drops of water. A very decent whiskey from Tomdu, Tomdu 10. My Summary would be caramelized fruit in a spicy sherry sauce and maybe a few drops of vanilla custard. That's what my summary would be for this whiskey. But my favorite will still be the Macallan 12 Double Wood if I compare it with this Tom Du 10. That'll be my favorite. The price here in South Africa is 750 Rand. Around 40 to 45 pounds in the UK and 50 dollars in the US. 40 dollars, 35 pounds, somewhere around there. If you want to pair this whiskey, matured exclusively in sherry wood, then I would recommend that you connect with the caramelized caramelized notes in the flavor profile. So caramelized nuts, caramelized fruits, that could be a good choice for a flavor companion for this whiskey. I have chosen caramelized pecanut pie. I've cut it in small pieces just so that I can handle it in front of the camera. Let me try and get hold of it. Caramelized pecanut Pie, mini caramelized pecanut pie. There you can see the biscuits and the nuttiness. So I'm going to try this to connect with those caramelization elements in the flavor profile. Hmm. Wonderful, the dark fruit notes. Is it connecting? Yes, it's happening. There is a connection between the two. Not as good as the Macallan pairing. But it is there. Not bad. Not bad at all. I would give this a, a 4 out of 5, 3.5 out of 5 as a pairing. I'm also thinking chocolate covered raisins and date balls will also work well with this Tamdu 10 year old sherry cask whiskey. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to share this with all of your friends 
and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow for the third in this mini-series that I'm doing, Slanger.